challenge today that the military is addressing um, with regards to TBI is really um, quite significant. With the emergence of these new conflicts that we're now involved in, Iraq and of course now Afghanistan, the military in a sense has been exposed to a, a new kind of warfare. Now, that involves a lot of blast and IED, I mean the public reads about these IEDs, which is an improvised explosive device, and an RPG, which is a rocket propelled grenade. So it's not the traditional bullets and mortars in a sense of last conflicts. And what's emerged because of this type of weaponry and because of the way our enemy is using it is a tremendously high incidence of traumatic brain injury, particularly what's referred to as the mild traumatic brain injury. Uh, or the concussive type brain injury. Uh, prior to these conflicts, uh, historically, when we thought of the military problem of traumatic brain injury was gunshot wounds to the head, uh, to the upper torso, uh, or high velocity fragments from grenades, for example. And that still persists. I mean, there's been close to 3,500 uh, severe TBIs so far from these two conflicts caused by gunshot wounds. But the mild TBI caused by blast is a real issue. And it's a real issue because we, it's hard to diagnose. It's, it's very difficult to identify. Uh, unlike in sports, football for example, you see the impact, you see the event immediately. You can assess the athlete's condition immediately. Um, we don't have that ability in theater with that level of sophistication to really do that. So a lot of the diagnosis is taking place uh, days, weeks, months after. And so there may be a lot of underdiagnosed, misdiagnosed issues, but the numbers are enormous. It's been estimated there's been over 300,000 mild TBIs already. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the confirmed diagnosis through the first 10 years, eight, uh, nine years of the conflict, uh, has uh, borders on, on the order of about 155,000 diagnosed mild TBIs. But again, the caveat is um, how strong are, is, uh, are those diagnoses? Because there's a lot of symptomatology that you see with mild TBI that also is seen with other conditions like just depression, uh, the stress of the environment, the stress of combat, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, which again has been published and printed quite prolifically in, in, the, in, the, in the press. This problem facing the military is um, particularly in terms of not mortality, not, not killed in actions or not post-conflict mortality, but in terms of what we call the morbidity, the, the post-injury quality of life for the soldier. Uh, has probably, in terms of that, TBI is probably now our biggest uh, combat casualty care issue. And by combat casualty care, I'm specifically referring to injuries that occur as a result of combat or involvement in combat.